Welcome to the Pop-Up Law series. With an interesting decision opposed by the Labour Rights Group, the Karnataka government on 22nd February issued the Factories Karnataka Amendment Act 2023, modifying the archaic national labour law, the Factories Act 1948, aiming to become a new manufacturing base following months of COVID-19 disruption that had impacted global supply chains. The new amendment provides the most flexible working regime by increasing the number of working hours from existing 9 to 12 hours, including rest intervals, with a maximum of 48 hours a week and allowing women workers to do night shift. IT and BT Minister Dr. C. N. Ashwit Narayan stated that the Legislative Assembly took this decision to create more economic activities and employment opportunities. He also said, India competes with places all around the world to attract investments. Only when you have flexible labor laws, investments can be attracted. China is a manufacturing base today and is part of the global supply chain along with South Korea, Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia and Japan. As per the reports of the Financial Times, Apple and its contract manufacturer Foxconn lobbied for the changes which would allow them to run round-the-clock 12 hours production shift at an upcoming facility in the state similar to their practice in China. India has initiated production incentives to become a $300 billion electronic manufacturing powerhouse by 2026 and to attract investments, states like Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana have been trying hard to pursue the manufacturers. The Karnataka officials argue that the proposed law would help boost electronic production by Apple's contract manufacturer Wistron, which currently operates in the state allowing more investments from Foxconn. The move comes as the state attempts to capitalize on opportunity created by companies looking to reduce their reliance on Chinese manufacturing. Highlights of the bill the bill further proposed enabling night shifts for female employees after obtaining written consent from those interested, post ensuring safety measures. The bill empowers the state government to extend the total number of working hours without intervals to six hours to any group or class or description of factories to facilitate an increase in the daily maximum hours of work. To deal with an exceptional press of work, the bill allows the government to prescribe hours of work on any day or week, paying overtime wages at twice the ordinary wage. The bill focuses on permitting 11 and a half hours a day, four days a week, and work on paid holidays. The new law allows female employees a significant portion of the electronic workforce to do night shift, which pro-business groups have applauded. Severe pushback? Opposing the decision, a complaint was logged by the Labour Rights Group with the International Labour Organization. Along with several other activist groups, the All India United Trade Union Centre staged a protest in March burning copies of the bill. K. Radhakrishnan, the trade union president, told the rest of the world that the new law is detrimental to the health of workers, which is impermissible under the International Labour Convention. In April, Tamil Nadu introduced flexible work hours extending up to 12 hours, but the rule was immediately shelved on facing severe criticism. BJP MLC and former MP Ayanur Manjunath stated, the law is meant to increase production, let companies hire more people. In the interest of the company owners, this law has been brought. Women will have to wake up at 4 a.m. to report for work at 6 a.m. Can a driver work for 12 hours? And what happens to the mental and physical health of these workers when they work for 12 hours in a day? It creates dangers. Please let us know your views on this and to know more, please click the link below.